Let's look a little bit closer on material editor interface. So in when we have the material selected in material summaries or assign, we have the options to go and modify this material. You can by double time click, select from menu or click the ed menu kind of like with a gear. So it will open material editor with this. Right here, you can see we're in basic material editor. Let's very fast overview this and switch to advanced. So you notice we have our preview and this preview we selected from options and it was spherical. You can always modify by going in option and for example, select the cube, cloud if you want it, cylinder, but we'll leave it on the spherical for now. As well, you can select background darker, lighter and object size. You also have it options to go and look on a hooking place if you have it any. Right now we don't have it point, hook point for this, but if you um, have one and in future when we start creating, you can preview this as well. Okay, also in this menu we can zoom in and on the bottom we have a two options, add layer details. So this way we can add additional details or we can also create two-sided and two-sided it will be left uh, bottom top or wherever it will work very well for the leaves for example or um, some other areas when we needed both sides in many ways in a, um, for example on a trunk we don't need it two sides one will work but mostly will be in the leaves okay or grass some areas so right here you can see we have a color alpha and we can select color if you need it just the color itself we can also use the map and map we can preload it image if we, uh, we already have it i do recommend for the export properties using the image maps instead procedure colors because when you will start import export plans that will work much better with the image images based texture than with the procedure Okay, and as we're using images, you can look right on the side. We have it if you already create invert alpha for a reason. We have it gamma adjustment. Currently, it says 1.8. You also have an option to load it. If you have it alpha load alpha, remove it, rotate clockwise or contra clockwise, and you have it options to repeat it, mirror it, or use it only once. It depend what you want. For the leaves, for example, we want to use it once if we're using them kind of with alpha transparency. Next, we have a bump map. When we enable, you'll notice right here we same things. We can create a grain type or we can create um, preloaded images. And right here, for example, we have a map. We can use it specific map. Okay, we can let's remove it. We can also use it um, image and some different applications, for example, uh, filter for your elements. You can produce bump map, normals, and other things. And if you want it, you can switch to the normal and amplitude and use a desk map. The rest is a similar things. You have it alpha inverted, you have it rotation, removing, and um, loading. So very similar. Now in the lighting options, we have our highlights. So we can go switch, for example, to highlights. You can see right here appeared with intensity and shininess. So when it's work, for example, on a glass, we want higher sh shiny things, or you can make a little bit more dual for other. And also we have a backlight enabling and backlighting, it's work very well on the leaves again or other materials when we want to have this kind of added um, semi lighting edges as well. So this is the basic one and uh, both advanced and basic material will apply buttons on the right corner. OK, X will cancel any modification you've done on all tabs, main or lighting. We also have it new, we'll change set to basic. We have an option to preload loaded material. Maybe already we have it and save current material.